In this video, I want to show you starting a new project in Reaper 7. Now, when we first open Reaper, it should look like this. And it should ask us to choose an audio interface. If it doesn't, we can go up here and choose audio device settings. Then we can choose it in here. I'm on Mac, so it looks like this. If you're on PC or Windows, it might look a bit different. So I'll choose my computer audio interface that's plugged into my computer right now. If you don't have one, you could just use the system audio. And I'm also going to choose the sample rate at 48 kilohertz and also choose the block size, which is basically the buffer size. If we make this setting really low, we'll get low latency. But if we make it larger, we could run larger projects. I tend to set this at about 128, which gives us a perfect balance of both. So we'll hit OK, and we're ready to create a new project. We can go up here to File, New Project, or we can go to our toolbar and hit the first button. That also creates a new project. But you'll notice nothing changed, because by default, Reaper doesn't start by saving your file. It does it later. But if you want to save your project at first, we could change that in the preferences. Control P on the PC or Command Comma on the Mac. And that opens up the Reaper preferences. Let's go over here to Project and let's choose to prompt us save on new project. Hit OK. And now if we create a new project, Reaper opens up a Save Project dialog. We can give it a name and then save it to our hard drive. So let's record some audio to this project. I'll create a new track by double clicking, go into record and set the input where my guitar is plugged into. And let's record some guitar. On PC, it's Control R and on Mac, it's Command R. Let's record another one. And one more. Now we have three pieces of audio. And if we look in our hard drive, it looks like this with a Reaper file over here and an audio file folder that contains those three pieces of audio. But you'll notice this can get messy as the top level of a hard drive now is the file in the folder, which is going to happen for every project we create. And if we go back to Reaper and save it, save project, now we get an extra folder for our backups. Go in here, and there's another Reaper file that's the older saved version of our project. The newer one is over here. So it creates a backup each time we hit save. But again, this is going to get messy if you have multiple projects on your hard drive, because this is all created at the top level. Instead, we should create a folder that contains all of this. So let's delete it. And let's start again. Let's create a new project. Again, it opens the Save Project dialog. But now we're going to choose to create a subdirectory for the project. And I'm also going to choose to copy all media into that project directory. Again, we'll give it a name. And now we'll save it. And now let's do the same thing again. Double click, put it into record, record some guitar. Do it again. One more time. And again, we have three pieces of audio. Let's save it. Save project. Go back to a hard drive. Now we have a folder that contains everything. Open it up, and we have our project, our audio files, all three of them, and our backups right here. So it's a lot more contained as everything is in this folder. Now we could also create automatic backups. So let's go back to our preferences. If we go to backups, right over here is the default for backing up our files, where we create a new version every time we hit save, and it puts the old one in the backups folder. 
and it saves the last 50 copies. But we could also do it automatically without having to hit save. I like to choose this version. Again, saving the last 50 versions. I'll put it in a folder. And right over here is the auto save interval, or how often it's going to auto save. By default, it's set to every 15 minutes when we're not recording. I like to make this a bit quicker. Let's try five minutes. And if we wait those five minutes, this other folder appears. Here's our backups, which are the files created when we hit save. But our auto save files are now in the auto backup folder right here. So if we forget to hit save, we always have a backup over here. But the newest version is always going to be over here. Now we could also change our project settings when we create a new project. If we go to our preferences, go back to project, and we could choose open properties on new project. Choose this and hit OK. Once again, we'll make a new project and we could save it in here. But now, after we create that new project, this project settings window opens up automatically. And we could set the project sample rate right over here, the tempo of our song, and a whole bunch of other settings that just apply to this project. And if we're happy with this, we want to use it as the default for each new song, we could choose it right here. Save as default project settings. And now, every time we create a new project and we save it, this is going to open up with the settings we saved, but we could change it for each new project. Or if you prefer, we could always change it later, right over here, using the fourth button in our toolbar. We can change the project settings right over here for our media, video, advanced, and notes. So if you want it to open automatically, just choose this option right here. Or if you don't want it, turn it off. And every time you create a new project, just choose it right here and change the project settings just for that project. And again, both of these options are off by default. So if you want this behavior to prompt to save a new project and open properties on new project, we need to turn these on. But if not, you could just leave them off as they're off by default. So that's pretty much it. That's starting a new project in Reaper 7. Hope you learned something. Hope you could use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go.